very good to see you again. It's very good to be again in Japan. This is my second visit. I think we have to shorten the time from once every 17 years. Uh, I'm impressed with everything that I see, the new dynamism, uh, not only in Japan, but also in the relationship between us, which was uh, uh, given much impetus by your visit to Israel, and I hope by my visit here, and I'm sure mm -hmm. by uh, Prime Minister Abiy's uh, visit to Israel, which uh, uh, will take place at his uh, convenience, but soon I hope. We also expect many, many other ministers to visit Israel to strengthen bilateral ties that are natural. They are between two vibrant technological democracies. Uh, I say two ancient peoples who seize the future. Uh, we are uh, interested in peace and stability throughout the world. We see the um, danger and challenge posed by a rogue state arming itself with nuclear weapons. In your case, it's uh, North Korea. And uh, we obviously understand and sympathize the predicament it creates for you. Uh, we are faced with such uh, a rogue state in the form of Iran and its quest to develop nuclear weapons. I think uh, yesterday's UN report is another example of how Iran uh, continues to deceive the world and advance its nuclear program. Mm -hmm. and clearly, the Ayatollahs cannot be trusted. And if the international community wants to avoid the specter of uh, nuclear terrorism, then it must assure uh, that Iran, the formal sponsor of terrorism on the planet, not have mm -hmm. the capability to develop nuclear weapons. I believe this is uh, this is our number one concern, but I think it should be shared by everyone uh, concerned with uh, the proliferation of nuclear terrorism and nuclear weapons in the, in the long hands. Uh, we have a second goal, which we discussed on your visit, which is mm. the advance of peace between us and the Palestinians. Since your visit, uh, we had a turn for the worse because the Palestinians have authority has made a pact with uh, Hamas. Hamas is committed to our destruction. We remain committed to advancing the peace, preferably a negotiated peace. But we can only negotiate with a government that is, whose constituent parts are committed to peace. If uh, President Abbas goes ahead with this national unity pact with Hamas, uh, a terrorist organization that regularly fires rockets into Israel, then we'll have to hold him accountable for every rocket that is fired from Hamas, from Gaza to Israel. Mm. Uh, we hope that this pact is dissolved mm. uh, and we can find a way to return to uh, uh, genuine negotiations with genuine peace partners. Uh, having said that, I want to say what I said with uh, Prime Minister Abiy. Uh, we are we have been committed to the idea of bolstering the Palestinian economy through various uh, ways. We think it gives uh, the Palestinian people a stake in peace. It helps uh, this cause. And I know you have certain efforts there, and uh, we intend to cooperate with you.